Here's a classic song with a really cool melody. We're going to jump right into it. This is called The Water Is Wide. You might be familiar with this song. You might have heard people sing this song. You might have sung this song yourself before. We're going to do a country guitar version of it. And I think I should probably just play this for you first so you can familiarize yourself with it. And know that this is in the key of D um, with uh, the D major scale that we just practiced. So here we go. I'll play The Water Is Wide for you. What are you hearing? You're hearing a lot of these notes from the D major scale. You're hearing a couple slides. You're hearing some of these alternating pick strokes that we've worked on through this series. So we're putting them all together to play this nice, simple melody. Starting on the open A string with these pickup notes. So the intro is a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Okay. So that's how we count those pickup notes. Uh, so it's a down up on the open A, then a down stroke on the open D. Then our third finger is gonna play the second fret of the D string because we're preparing for this slide up to the fourth fret. Then we have a down up on the second fret of the D string, then an open D. Then second fret of the A string, open A. Moving on, open A, open D, all down strokes, fourth fret of the A string with your third finger, open D. <clears throat> now your first finger plays the second fret, third finger plays the fourth fret, then we do that little half step bend and release and then back to that second fret of the D string. Moving on, play that same note you just played. Then a down up on the second and fourth fret of the D. And then an open G, second fret of the G. Now open G again, and I'm gonna use my third finger again for this slide from the fourth fret to the second fret of the D string. Open D, then slide right back up. Just using these slides for a little bit of expression, make it that much prettier. Then the first finger plays the second fret of the D string with a down up. Open D, second fret of the A string, open A. Then A again, second fret, open D, and now we do this slide with our first finger from the second fret of the A string to the fifth fret. That's just making another D note, but using this little slide to make it a little more expressive. So as a bonus, as I always do, if there is an opportunity, we're gonna get into the higher octave of this melody. Here's our higher octave version. Most of the expression is the same, a couple little different versions of it, just because of the position we're in and the fingering that is laid out here. So starting with our first finger on the second fret of the G string, we got our down up. And our second finger on the D note right there. And this time, as opposed to our sliding pentatonic we did in the previous lesson, just because of how this is set up, I'm gonna use my fourth finger here on the fifth fret of the B string and slide up with the fourth finger, okay? 
because I can go right back down with that same finger and set myself up for these next notes. Okay, so fourth finger back on the fifth fret now. Second finger, third finger on the fourth fret of the G string. First finger on the second fret of the A string. Uh, G string, excuse me, A note. Now, same note we're playing, this A. Now second finger plays a D. First finger plays the C sharp right under it and right back to a D. Then the open E, second fret. And now I'm gonna pull off from the third fret to the second fret. Okay, that's just a pull off from my second finger to my first finger. And then the open E. Okay, now a down stroke and then a down up down on those three notes, open, second fret, third fret. Fourth finger plays that high A note. Then back to the third fret and then pull off from the second fret to the open E. And then second finger plays that D note, your tonic note. Right back to my first finger on the second fret of the high E. Now open E with a down up. And then the D note, open B, down to an A, second fret of the G string. Then for that same note, now our third finger on the fourth fret, second finger plays the tonic note and then plays it one more time. So different fingering, but you hear it's the exact same melody. So we'll go ahead and move on to the practice round and practice both of these versions together.